Hey guys, this is Mr. A. Crizzy here, and first of all, happy first day of October. Yep, it's finally October. We get to talk about some Halloween movies and some horror films. Yeah, so with that being said, happy October and, and happy Halloween month. So, in today and in today's video, this is this is going to be on a, a movie review. Uh, this is going to be on a this is going to be a movie review on, on this on this horror film. Like I I actually watched this horror film on HBO Max recently, and <clears throat> and that's going to be on that's going to be on new horror film that came out last month on September tenth, and 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 this horror film was directed by James Wan. James Wan, who's known for directing The Conjuring, and Insidious, and Saw. And that's going to be on Malignant. Yep. Malignant is the new horror movie directed by James Wan. And so it's about this girl named Madison who is paralyzed by fear from, from shocking visions. Like Madison's torment worsens as she discovers her waking dreams as terrifying realities. And, and yeah, and that's pretty much what Malignant is about. So... When I when I first saw a trailer for Malignant, when when I when I first saw a trailer for this film, like when when I when I when me and Ashley went and saw Candyman, <clears throat> this movie kind of kind of interested me a little bit, but but I, but and then then I was thinking since it, since it was to be it was streaming it was to be streaming on HBO Max for a month, I I felt like watching it on HBO Max and and I did, and how how does the movie turn out? How how does Malignant turn out? Well. I actually thought Malignant was a pretty good horror movie. I, I thought it was pretty good. It had it had a few ups and downs, like a few hit or misses. Cause I I can definitely tell this is this is probably not what not one of my because this is probably not one of my favorite films of 2021 because I've seen better films that came out in 2021 and I've seen two better horror films that came out in 2021 like one PG-13 and one R-rated. That would be A Quiet Place Part Two and Candyman. And I will say, I I, I kind of did enjoy Candyman a lot more than Malignant, and 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 I and I and I've heard from from some of my friends on YouTube. I I know some of my friends out there didn't like this film. I know there's gonna be a few people who are who don't who who are, who end who end up not liking this film. Some may like it, but some don't, because you know it's just their honest opinion, and you don't and you don't have to to copy each other's opinions because that's not right. But as for James Wan's direction, like James Wan, the way he directed this film, like the way he shot this film, it 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 kind of wasn't too bad. Like, it, and the pacing itself, like it's only like an hour and fifty one minutes. Like, like it's only like an hour and fifty one minutes, and the pacing itself, I didn't I didn't really mind. I hardly felt a thing. And as for the acting performances, like the like the girl who played Madison in the film, I thought she wasn't too bad. I mean, the as as for everyone else who was in this film. They they all did a pretty decent job. And and of course, yeah, there are some times where it does get scary, of course, like I said, it sometimes it does get scary, but th this actually goes to goes to more on the campy side. Like, you know, like like Matthew Davis Media said in his after I saw review. And of course, there are some times where 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 it does get very serious and violent, but you know, just just in a good way. And, and and the fact that and this, and and the fact that this movie is also rated R as well, you know, R rated. And, and and there are some good reasons why this movie's R rated because this plays out as a horror film directed by James Wan. And and one one thing I and one one thing for sure I actually liked about this film that the, 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 there's like a, there's like a part in this film where they actually showed in the trailer. Like they actually showed this in the trailer, like like how like how like how Madison was being shown by by a few by a few VHS tape recordings from from her past, and I thought that was a pretty cool scene. Like you know, the, like the way the VHS screen looks on the TV, like we we already saw that in the trailer. So that, but I mean, you know, the like there might there might be some times where scenes and where scenes and trailers are do considered are do considered spoilers, but. I I won't be getting I won't be going any any further about this about I won't be going any further about this film. Yeah, but what I mean by that is like I'm not going to talk about other scenes that happen in this film because because if if this movie does interest you in, in watching it, if if this movie interests you, then I won't I won't give away anything else. So I apologize for that. Like sometimes maybe no need to apologize, but whatever. 
So overall, Malignant was a pretty good film from 2021. And I'm going to give Malignant... I'm going to give Malignant three, three and a half out of five. Yeah. Because some of you guys may have seen my letterbox review, like, like, how, like, my, my short letterbox review, because, like, there, there might be some times where I might get my ratings right, but, yeah, it's fine. So, if, if you're interested in, in checking out Malignant, if you're interested, then feel free to check it out on HBO, on HBO Max before it goes away on October 10th, like a month after it came out. But if you're not interested, then it's fine. So there, so there you have it, guys. That's going to be it for my movie review on Malignant. And that's going to be it for this video. So make sure to give this video a thumbs up and, sub and subscribe to my channel if you haven't yet. And as always, thanks for watching. And also, stay tuned for some more horror movies. And, and, and stay tuned for some more Halloween mo movie reviews coming up on this YouTube channel for Halloween month and October month. Cause, cause I, I got a few other Halloween movies to check out. Like I, I know I got the Adam Sandler film Hubie Halloween. I got to check out on Netflix. Cause it's actually turning one year old this month, which is pretty cool. So with that being said, like, like I said at the beginning of this video, happy October month, happy Halloween month. And with that being said, this is Mr. A Crazy saying. Goodbye, everybody, and that's about it.